Hey everyone, my name's Ella and welcome to 100 Stories Deep. Today I'm reading a story called The Musicians of Bremen by Brothers Grimm. And I've chosen to read this story today because my nan used to read this story to me when I was a small child. And I'd actually forgotten about this story until recently when I was thinking about um, another story to share for this project. So yeah, now I would like to share the story with you and I hope that you enjoy. The Musicians of Bremen. Once there was a donkey who lived with a farmer. The donkey was very old. Before he had worked every day in the fields and carried many heavy things. But now he was old and he found it hard to carry heavy things. One day, the donkey was carrying a very heavy bag of food and fell down. Now this is bad, said the farmer. I need a strong animal who can work for me. If the donkey can't carry things, I don't need him. I will have to kill him tonight. The donkey heard this and was very afraid. He didn't want to die, but what could he do? If he went to another farm, they would not want him because he could not work. But the donkey had heard of a city called Bremen. In Bremen, there were lots of musicians. And if you played good music, you lived well. I have always wanted to learn to play the guitar, said the donkey. I think I would play it very well. He did not have a guitar, but that did not matter. So the donkey left his master and started his journey to Bremen. The road to Bremen was long. After walking for an hour, the donkey came across an old dog on the road. The dog looked tired and sad and had lots of grey hairs. Why are you so sad, old boy? said the donkey. My master wants to kill me. Before I ran through the forest and killed pigs. But now I am old and the pigs are too fast for me. Don't worry, old boy, said the donkey. I'm going to Bremen to become a musician. I'm going to play the guitar. Come with me. Wow, said the dog. I have always wanted to learn to play the drum. Yes, I will go with you to Bremen. And so the donkey and the dog started their longer journey to Bremen. The road to Bremen was long. After walking for two hours, they came across a cat on the road. The cat looked old and tired and sad and had lots of grey hairs. Why are you so sad, you old cat? said the donkey. My master wants to kill me. Before, I killed all the mice in the house. But now I am old and the mice are too fast for me. Don't worry, you old cat, said the donkey. We're going to Bremen to become musicians. I'm going to play the guitar and the dog is going to play the drum. Come with us. Wow, said the cat, I have always wanted to learn to play the violin. So yes, I will come to Bremen with you. So the donkey and the dog and the cat started continuing their journey to Bremen. 
the road to Bremen was long. After walking for three hours, they came across a chicken on the road. The chicken looked old and sad. Why are you so sad, Mr. Chicken? said the donkey. My master wants to kill me. Before, I cried every morning at the same time. But now I am old and some days I forget to cry in the morning. Don't worry, Mr. Chicken, said the donkey. We are going to Bremen to become musicians. I'm going to play the guitar. The dog is going to play the drum and the cat is going to play the violin. Why don't you come with us? Wow, said the chicken. I love singing. Yes, I will come to Bremen with you. So the donkey, the dog, the cat and the chicken started their journey to Bremen. The road to Bremen was long. So night came and they decided to sleep inside a forest. The donkey, dog and cat lay down by a tree and the chicken flew up into its branches. They had no food and they were very hungry and it was really cold. I see something, said the chicken. There is a house in the forest and there is a light inside. Do you think they have comfortable beds and food? I think they might, said the donkey. Let's go. So they went to the house and looked inside. Inside there were five men. These men were very bad men. They were thieves. They liked to steal from people. But the musicians were not interested in the thieves because in the house there was a table and on the table was lots of food and drink. Bread, cheese, nuts, cake, wine and beer. And in the corner there were comfortable beds. Wow, said the donkey. We must get inside and eat all that lovely food and sleep in those comfortable beds. But what can we do, said the cat. Hmm, said the dog. Usually, if you play music, people give you money and food, right? Right, said the chicken. Let's give them a show. So the dog jumped on the donkey's back and the cat jumped on the dog's back and the chicken flew up onto the cat's back. Ready, said the donkey. One, two, three. The animals jumped through the window. The donkey played the guitar, the dog played the drum, the cat played the violin and the chicken sang. But really, the donkey brayed, the dog barked, the cat meowed and the chicken cried. The thieves were very afraid and thought it was a monster. They ran outside and through the forest. Hooray, said the donkey. Our first show went very well. They ate all the lovely food and drank all of the beer and wine and then went to sleep in the comfortable beds. 
the thieves ran and ran. But then the leader of the thieves said, stop, that was no monster. I don't believe that monsters exist. And that is our house. I will go back and kill them. So the leader of the thieves went back to the house and very quietly went inside. It was dark and the musicians were all sleeping. But then the leader of the thieves put his foot on the cat. Meow, screamed the cat. She jumped up and scratched the thief's leg. Ow, screamed the thief. He fell on the dog. Woof, woof, cried the dog. He bit the thief on the leg. Ah, screamed the thief. He ran outside and ran into the donkey. Yee-haw, cried the donkey and kicked the thief in the stomach. Finally, the chicken woke up and flew into the thief's head. The leader of the thieves screamed and ran away. It is a monster, it is a monster, he cried. I will never come back to this forest again. So the musicians went back to their home and slept. In the morning, they spoke. Shall we go to Bremen then, said the dog. I don't know, said the cat. It is such a long way and we have no musical instruments. I don't need a musical instrument, said the chicken. I can sing. Maybe we don't need to go to Bremen, said the donkey. We have a nice little house here and we can probably find food in the forest. And it was true. They were very happy in their little house and they found nuts and fruits in the forest to eat. So in the end, the musicians of Bremen never actually went to Bremen, but that does not matter because they were the best of friends and very happy in the new home they had found together. Okay, I hope that you enjoyed that story. Um, so in the story, each of the animals have been badly treated by their owners because they're old and they can no longer do the things that they once were able to do. And this leads the animals to, to escape in search of a better life. So I just want you to think about um, what do you think that older human beings need to feel happy and cared for? After you've thought about this yourself, I want you to find an older person that you know. So for example, that might be a grandparent um, and ask them this same question and see how closely your answers match. Um, and also, if you search for the title of this story um, online, you will come across an image of a statue um, of the four animals standing on each other's backs that is still there to this day in the city of Bremen, which is a real city in Germany. Um, so yeah, I hope that you enjoyed the story. Please share your comments and feedback in the comments box below. And don't forget to subscribe if you would like to listen to more stories in the 100 Stories Deep series. Bye.